Welcome back to another video. Tonight I'll just be doing a short update on all my manual call points. So I've got five manual call points in total and we'll be testing those tonight. Unfortunately I always seem to leave these videos till the last minute. Uh, so as you can see it is 9.49. Uh, so I won't be able to do a, a audible test today, so I will silence the alarms. Okay, now that they're silenced, we'll start for the test. I'm also joined by another YouTuber called... The last team standing. And let's get started. Okay, so this one is loop 1, module 1, zone 1, and it's the first call point in the analog addressable loop. Okay, since this one is in zone 1, you can see it has dropped my access control door. So in the event of a fire, if my smoke alarm there, or the call point goes off, it will automatically open my door and let me out. Okay, next call point is down in the laundry, and it's quite a bit of a walk. This is the furthest call point in the system, uh, but it's the only other call point that's easily accessible outside. Okay, so this one is Loop 1, Module 8, Zone 7. This is a conventional manual call point, uh, so I've got a loop responder inside that allows me to use conventional devices with an analog addressable system, hence why it's not flashing. Okay, let's go. This one has alarm verification, so you can see it turns off there, and very shortly it'll turn back on. Okay, now that one's an alarm, let's go inside. Okay, I'll turn the light on in here. This one is loop one, module four, zone five. This one sometimes sticks a bit. And into the other room. This one here that's kind of hard to see is loop one, module three, zone three. And finally, we have another conventional call point. This one is loop one, zone five, module nine. Bit hard to get the key in this one. And it has alarm verification as well. And that's all set off. So let's go back to the panel and I'll show you the alarm. So I plan on putting a call point in the shed out here. This area is the only area that is not protected with my system at the moment. And also plan on putting a call point in that sleep out there. This sleep out currently is protected, it is part of the loop. As I said, the sleep out doesn't currently have a manual call point, uh, but it does have a smoke alarm. This in here. The light will turn on it's pretty dark in here that is an omni detector so that has optical and a fixed rate thermal detector which is set at 63 degrees unfortunately it won't focus since it's quite dark in this room and the light switch is way up on that bunk bed there so that'll do okay let's go back to the panel and i'll show you all the alarms that have gone off Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we have five uh, five zones and or five devices and alarm. We have dining room MCP, kitchen MCP, lower bathroom MCP, Kynan's room MCP, and office MCP. 
we'll go ahead and reset these all now. So that's that one reset, that one, that one. And now they're pretty much all reset. One more. Okay, now we can turn off silence alarms after we make sure it's not going to go off into alarm since it's, you know, almost 10 o'clock at night. Yep, that's all good. Okay, now the system's resetting. Once it's back to normal, we can close the cabinet and this will conclude the system test. Okay, Fire Alarm and Z, system normal. So that concludes my system test. Um, if you have a bit of spare time, go and check out the Last Team Standings channel. He has quite a cute, uh, few interesting videos, and I highly recommend him. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.